welcome to Podcast vs. Player, episode 252. I'm one of your hosts, Callan, as always. I'm joined by a man who told me the cat needed to be chipped. I only had a 9-9, but I still got it over the shed. <laughs> <laughs> it's only bloody, it's any bloody, any bloody Dan. We haven't done any silly songs in a while. It's been a while, hasn't it? And mm. I will po- say that it was pointed out on a Cow's Playdates video with a friend of the show, Matt, that all my songs are the same. It's always... That's what a lot of bands do, though. They just they find Pretty a good much. chord progression and they go, fuck it, we can use this for the next 20 years, sure. And it's worked for them, so it can work for us. <laughs> yeah, Nickelback. <laughs> that always reminds me of that joke. It's like... Fell down the stairs holding a guitar and accidentally wrote a Nickelback <laughs> song. <laughs> Wasn't that Will Ferrell he told Yeah, that? yeah. <laughs> I think so, yeah. That's a great little joke. I love it because it, it, you can just replace Nickelback with anyone. It always comes back to Nickelback. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've had my dose of Nickelback for this week with that 10-second interaction. So, Dan, I don't even care what you've got to say because i got some news for you. Wow. And it's actually a callback to a previous episode. Well, can I can I play around on my phone for a bit then? Or do you need no, to pay attention? I need you to pay attention. I need okay. I need you in the game, Dan. That game is Max Payne. That game is um, the one and two are being remade. <laughs> we talked about this like what, like two, two weeks ago, yeah, or whatever. Two episodes ago. <laughs> it's been confirmed. However, no way. However, as is it Remedy that's doing it? Yeah. I was gonna, like, oh. one of the things that we said, right, why, why haven't Rockstar done it, blah, blah, blah. And then we said, maybe it's because Remedy might still own the rights to them. One and two. I, that's, Turns I out, figured, if anything, yeah. Um, so, the it, yeah, it's basically they were talking about, um, obviously, the recently released Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake. Um, and whilst it's too early to comment on uh, sales of uh, Alan Wake, they did go on to talk about their financial report and Max Payne 1 and 2 Remake has progressed into the production readiness stage. So it's still so, going to be a few years from now. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that that's yeah. not like it's, oh, it'll be out end of the year. Uh, no, no, definitely not. Um, but it, it goes on, as I said, we've gained clarity on the uh, style and scope of the game, and we have an exceptionally well-organized team working on it. With these accomplishments, we're excited about the project and its future success. I mean, it would have to be. It would have to be a ground up rebuild. Oh yeah, will one hundred percent will be. I assume using the Alan Wake two engine. If that's the case, it would be unfucking real. Yeah. Because like I've seen, like, have you seen like the like your absolute tip top, uh, tip of the tits, um, like specs for for Alan Wake two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's about. 0.004% of gamers that might actually be able to enjoy it at its absolute mm. full potential. Like it's just like, oh yeah, you want to you, you want to absolutely you know ultra ultra wide 4K blah blah blah. Yeah, you need a 4090 rolling out yeah. to 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 handle this, which is kind of crazy. It is when really. you, when you think about it, because like realistically, what do you reckon the demographic is for gamers? Not like data miners and and bitcoiners and all that bollocks. Um, of actual gamers who have got 49s realistically that aren't not YouTubers and stuff yeah I mean people that have gone out and bought I, I'd say that a lot of people um, because they don't really maybe they don't understand or maybe don't want to understand you know what they actually need for what they're doing yeah yeah and um, instead it's a top trumps thing you know they go well that one's got the biggest number that's the best one which you know Nvidia quite smartly work like that Whatever the highest number is, oh, that's that's the best one we that's the best one we do for the most part. But like most most series have been, so you, you you've got a you got a ten sixty, and you got a twenty sixty, and you got a thirty sixty, and you got forty sixty. That lower end forty sixty card barely does ten eighty, mm. and a thirty sixty is worse than a a twenty seventy super and a twenty eighty. So, if you but if you don't like you say if you don't know the actual specification what I mean. of what it can you do, you would 
you would overbuy. Yeah. Um, because you go, oh well, this this is the newest series out, and the forty eighty or the forty ninety, that's the best one that they've they've got in that range. Well, it's expensive, isn't it? But you know that that'll probably do me. Yeah, it will. It will do for like ten years. You'll be absolutely fine. Um, so other than people who have just, or maybe people that want a uh, got a, a, a pre build yeah. to finance, maybe yeah. so that you know it's costing them not that much. Um, or people that have already got a fairly decent rig, they've they've had a thirty eighty thirty ninety when the forties have come mm. out and the forty nineties have dropped. They've sold off the old one. They've bought themselves a new upgrade. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's going to be many people that are going out to buy a forty ninety to play Alan Wake two at its absolute maximum nah. specs. The people that can play it at that level, they've already got it, I reckon. Yeah, most likely, and and, and realistically, like you, like you've just said, people that have got a forty ninety. They're, prob- they're probably playing like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Minecraft, <laughs> like because they're they're, they're going to people that are that are streaming and and doing YouTube videos and stuff rather than actually playing, just enjoying a game. Um, mm. Me personally, uh, I haven't I haven't got Alan Wake two yet, but when I do get it, I'm just going to get it for the um, Series X rather than PC. Um, mainly because I've got a voucher for the <laughs> Xbox stuff. <That's, laughs> that surprises me though, because you keep banging on about. Um, Alan Wake. I think I did. I play the first one. Like, didn't it come I, out on Game Pass? I told you to. Whether you did is a different story. <laughs> did it? Did it come out on Game Pass? Yeah, is it's it like, available it on like Game Shadow, Pass. Shadow, shame. There's like shadow people that you've got a torch and a gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But you've got. Then, yeah, you've, I did, I did, got I did, Alan Wake, uh, and then the standalone DLC, um, American Nightmare. So I played some of the first one, um, and I thought it was, it was quite good. Yeah, it's but it, it, it just. It just felt very dated. But again, I never played it back in the day, yeah. guys, which is fine. Um, there seems to be an insane leap between 1 and 2 in terms of what it looks like. Yeah, but like the, the original one came out on Xbox 360. But that, so. that's what I mean. Because <laughs> like, if you look at Max Payne 1 and Max Payne yeah, 2, yeah. again, Max Payne 2 was the 360 title. Max Payne 1 was like an original... PC. Yeah, it was... Oh, no, it didn't even... Um, yeah, it came it out. Come out. Yeah, it was originally a PC-only game. No, no, that's what I mean. It, it, when it came out, like when I bought oh, it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it was I. I had to buy. It. I bought it in Spain on a disc, and the whole thing was in Spanish. You know. So it wasn't until I got it for El Max Three Six. <laughs> uh, no, it would have been the original, uh, original Xbox, I reckon. Um, when I understood what the fuck the story was about, because <laughs> everything was in Spanish. And it's before YouTube as well, so you couldn't like just YouTube the cutscenes. Right. Um, so, um, but I, yeah, I mean, for, but th- this is my point though. Like, if you look at um, the first Alan Wake and like look at how good this Alan Wake Two looks comparatively, mm. what the fuck is the difference? Like side by side difference of Max Payne One, and if they can get it running somewhat similar to Max uh, to Alan Wake Two, that it's oh. going to be. It might as well have been N64 level of like polygons and shit. Well, they are different. I know they're different studios, but look at the difference between Max Payne 1 and Max Payne 3. I mean, again, I'd, I know what you mean, and, and that is, that's fair, but it, it is Rockstar at the yeah, end of the day. Yeah. And like, they, they do have a lot more. And like, I still, every now and then, I will still go back and play Max, Max Payne 3 still because fucking it is, banging. it's still so good. The problem is, though, is because I've played it so much. Yeah. I know where every clue is. Like the only thing that I'm doing ever really is like looking around for the extra golden gun parts. Like, cause the, I know that there's still a couple out there that I haven't found yet, I, but there's like, it, it's not just like that the gameplay is good and the story is good, but there's like, there's certain like, there's just like, it, like a movie. There's just certain yeah. scenes within it, which are just, they're, they're like standouts. Except, like, you know, like when he goes back, it does like a flashback in yeah. time and he's in New York and he has to, he shoots that gangster's kid and then like all of the mobs after him. Yeah. Like that whole fucking section is amazing. Well, just, I, I mean, I remember at the time uh, when three came out and when you're in, what country is it in? Like when you've got like the tropical shirt on and I want to say like Puerto Rico or something like no, that. No, he's in Rio, I think. Yeah. Like that was one of the most like visually pleasing um, levels of a game I played in quite some time. Mm. Um, but the, I, I was really looking forward to Alan Wake 2, um, mainly because I, I I bought the first one the day it came out on, back in the day, on 360. Um, bought the American Nightmare DLC. Played it again mm. since then. Um, and I was really looking forward to this. 
But then I spent 70 quid on Spider-Man 2. So I went, nah, that'll do me for this month. <laughs> Probably. I'm going to check and see, if, and see if Alan Wake is still on here. It's probably purchasable, but I don't think it's... Uh, yeah, so it's a tenner. Um, it, it would have just been like a limited thing that it was on. Yeah. I, I, I do remember enjoying it, but it was it very... It was definitely on there. I think it's still it's on Xbox. Brief. might still be on the Xbox game. Well, to be fair, with two coming out, well, is it out? Yeah, it's out now, yeah. Yeah. Came out um, last week. They might, they might drop it back on again, because yeah. if they're planning on putting two on Game Pass as well, it will be, oh, here's uh, like, a, you know, I'll play it again now and yeah. get you back in the mood for it sort of thing. If it pops back up again, I'll absolutely play Because again, I don't remember not enjoying it. It's just that it wasn't on for a long period it, of time. It, the, again, the problem with that is it's the same like we, we always bang on about Carter, like how good Night of Republic 1 and 2 are. But if you've never played it before and you go and play it today, it's fucking shit, mate. <laughs> I bet, yeah, it's it would be really difficult to try and adjust yeah. to. We, we, we play it through, the, as a lot of other people do, rose-tinted spectacles, because you remember it when you when you played it. And Alan Wake mm. will be the same where, like, I mean, visually at the time, it was a stellar-looking game, looked really, really good. Um, and I, ironically, there'll be a point in the future when we're on, like, Alan Wake, three or four and it's been like 20 years another 10 years yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we look back and go god imagine when we when we, when we thought this looked good <laughs> when you yeah, needed a 49 <laughs> yeah, yeah my phone's got that now <laughs> but like if if we could get a max pay like again like the, the problem with it is though is that because obviously max Payne again the pc one it was just it was it was a couple of levels uh, well, it was like, you know, it's a, a, a level, like a city street or, a uh, you know, a couple of buildings yeah. or whatever. And then it would be a, like a, a, a flat, um, like 2D still cutscene. Yeah. Like a comic book cutscene, which again was great because it, it kind of, it really worked with like the noir kind of yeah, like detective it, it the feel absolutely falling apart yeah. in his own head. Um, and like, you know, it's. It, it just it works again like it makes sense that they go well we could do all the technical stuff with like the the bullet time and we've got multiple guns and dual yeah. dual wield in and like there's some massive doors um, <laughs> yeah i mean like again but that's that's how you just made games back then didn't you you couldn't have like a, a realistic looking corridor with a camera that's sort of like this far away and it's it, it just wouldn't work but does that mean that they would keep that, or would they would they create those actual cutscenes? Would they even keep cutscenes in? I, like you know, because it'll be like in-game engine stuff, wouldn't it? They, again, but Alan, like, Alan level Wake to level. control, like it's, the. I've got a feeling that whilst it was a, a smart stylistic choice to have the stills, I think it was just limitation. Yeah, but that, that's what I mean. I think they were focused more on good gun yeah. gunplay and like the bullet time and dodging and. Um, you know, sort of like the painkiller, like all of like the the classic Max Payne stuff. That was more of a focus than let's let's animate it as well. Yeah, yeah. Which I totally get, but there are still there are still cutscenes in it. But again, like you say, it is in in engine stuff. Yeah, um, it, it'll be, and it doesn't it doesn't look great, but it uh, it's good. <laughs> but again, it's good enough that we can we can finish this up and we can boot Max Payne one up, play it and again. Remember what it was like. But if you, I would if, happily if, play Max yeah. Payne again. Yeah. But but when you're playing it for the first time in 2023, I I'd be surprised if anyone can finish it. It's certainly not that bit where you've got to walk across the fucking. Um, it's like it's all pitch black dark, and there's a baby that's screaming. Oh, yeah. Is that the second one? No, that's it. Like, that I never. One? I someone bought me the second one, and I opened it, and it was the first one. <laughs> Like the disc was the, for the first for one, not the second sake. one. I was fuming, it, so I've never technically and it, played. And two. it was just Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> El Max Payne, Deuce, not Deuce, Duo, and Uno. I don't know. I don't know Spanish. Duo. I was think. I, I was trying to think the Offspring song in my head. <laughs> There's an Offspring song where they count to three <laughs> in Spanish. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, right. Un... It'll be dos, Un right? dos tres. Yeah. Sankos. Sankos. Yeah. Sankos. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's fucking. Um... 
Pretty fly for a white guy. Thank you. Yep. There you go. Um, the worst offspring song. <laughs> I like. It. I can play that as well. It, so I can't. I can't knock again, it too much. Again, it's a good song where I've got good fond memories of growing up with. But like, it was on the playlist thing we had on this Halloween party at the weekend. And as I was listening to it, I was like, they've got way better songs than this. It's like listening to I mean, all the have. small things from Blink One Eight Two. Yeah. But if you, it's it works really well with the video, mm. where it's just like it's it's like a weird owl video. Yeah, it's just some guys just that, trying to be that weedy guy walking and... down the street and stuff. Exactly, yeah. Good memories. Um, Playing Alan Wake. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like I, I the, no, there's a bit where you're you're like walking. It's pitch black, and there's a baby that's yeah. screaming like your baby. It's, it's, a, it's at your killed. house, and not your house, Max's house. No, it's like I, what was the what's the drug thing that they use? Um, Val- Valkyrie is it? I honestly can't remember. Can't remember. Something like that. Anyway, um, but like I think you've been dosed with that, and like you having like a hallucination thing. And it's like you, I think you're right. It's in your house, and like you open a door, and the corridor's huge, but then it stops, at, um, and it's pu- it's pure pitch black, and there is like a, just like a, a a plank to walk along that's covered in blood. Yeah. So you can only see about half a foot in front of yourself. And like it winds around like in the pitch black, and then you get out on the other side. And I remember again, this is on the PC, so WS WASD controls, yeah. like trying to like do like really awkward maneuvers, like honest, <laughs> tiny little thing. I did end up. I, I'm pretty sure I just had cheats on anyway, but I was just throwing Molotov cocktails everywhere just, just to light up. <laughs> light the room so I could see what the fuck I was doing. So like something like that, that looks like Alan Wake, where you're having like a whole hallucination. Your dead baby screaming at you. It would potentially be way more terrifying it would, now than it would have been back in the day. Any game that has a like kind of horror element to it that has a, a crying baby, it's automatically scary. Like PT man, <laughs> mm. like that shit. There's just like dead feet. It's like there's like a fridge that's screaming and like. Oh, PT was absolutely amazing. no way, absolutely no way I could play that. Worst thing, fucking um, the oh my god, who made Metal Gear? Konami. Konami. Worst thing Konami did was pulling the plug on that. Well, um, was it Konami or was it Kojima? It was that was Silent Hill. PT was Silent Hill. It was Silent Hills, yeah. wasn't it? Um, no, it, 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 I'm sure it was just called Silent Hill, and obviously Norman Reedus was going to be the lead. Yeah, yeah, fella yeah. in it, and then they pulled the plug on it, and then it went on and made Death Stranded with Norman Reedus instead. Ah, okay. Um, but no, but Death Stranding was Kojima, wasn't it? That was yeah, with Kojima Studios. At, when yeah, when he yeah, when yeah. he made PT, he was still working for Konami. Gotcha. But like, imagine like something like that where you're in that sort of yeah. like absolutely not no. I'd... But how many games have we got with like um, that sort of like bullet time gameplay? Like recently, where you're sort of like mm. jumping around, dodging with the bullet time. Realistically, not as many as we probably think, but there will be like, ele- not the same, but like so in in Spider Man, you can pull off a finisher move and everything will slow down and you see all the action and stuff. But in terms of just willingly filling up a bar whenever you want, hit a button, slow down, dive across the room. Max Payne Three would be the last one. Well, there's like Sniper <clears throat> Elite and stuff like that, which is all it's all bullet time set. But, it, but it's but that's... after you've done it, though, isn't it? It's a it's a cinematic, if anything else, not where you're actively like you don't that's co- yeah. you don't control the bullet as it flies through the air. N- no, but well, you don't in Max Payne either. No, like, no you, but you could bullet... you control where you're shooting. <laughs> that yeah, and you're diving and yeah. d- doing whatever at the same time. So you, you're probably right though. Like this, I, I think that it's probably something that's been done to death. By these when, by now, but when did Wanted maybe come out? Hasn't. When did the Wanted game come out? Ah, <laughs> oh, I love that game. Before, would, would, would that have been before no, after Max like Payne? Two thousand eight or something. I know it was on three hundred and sixty, which was also yeah. when Max Payne three came out on three hundred and sixty mm. and PS three. That's one of the only games that I ended up actually buying for the PlayStation three was Wanted. I oh, if you should say Max Payne three. I was gonna say I bought that for PS three. <laughs> no, mate, I've got that. I've got no, I three different versions I of got, Max Payne three. I got that sent for review. Oh, did you? Yeah. One, no, I bought one I, of I, the better I ones. It for the Xbox. <laughs> uh, 
uh, and then got it for the PC. And then I was just like, oh, this PC one looks way fucking better. The, the PC one's scary because even without like adding anything to it, like mods or anything, it still looks very good. And, it really does. I mean, the last time I played it was when the Punisher Season 1 came out. And I'd finished that, and I was just like, fuck me, I wish there was a Punisher game. Oh, there is. Max Payne 3. So <laughs> I played that because the actual Punisher mm. games not age very well. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's a that's uh, I think that's Time's fault. It, yeah, I mean, like than Felician's fault. I liked it. Iron Man was in that game, man. I liked you it. You can never time. make that game today. <laughs> I when you like you'd have like the I can't remember the actual level, but you've got like the animal mounts on the walls, and you could like fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. mount people on the tusks it's when and you were shit. At the New York Zoo. Mm. Good game. Like you can, you, you throw a guy into a wood chipper at the start. It's great. Yeah, yeah. And you got that Punisher meter where you're trying to get the information out of them. The interrogation meter. Yeah, Punisher meter. Punisher meter. <laughs> Only the Punisher can do it. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to put it in L.A. Noir, but it didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Truth or lie or doubt or punish. <laughs> I saw a clip the other day. Um, I forgot who they were talking about, uh, but they were on about something to do with mocap and stuff. And that got brought up, L.A. Noir. And it showed you a clip mm. from like the recording process, and the guy who plays, um, oh man, what was his name? The main guy, Phelps. Phelps. What's for him though? Anyway, um, I've got Ethan in my head. It's not Ethan. What well, um, Phelps is? Yeah, full name. Phelps. De- Detective Phelps. Philip Phelps, and <laughs> John Phelps. <laughs> he the 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 actual guy looks just like him it's like well, of course he does no 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 but like i mean in terms of looking at the age of if you look at the game now it doesn't look very good oh uh, yeah, yeah but like when you see it you go wait no that still looks really good because <laughs> like, it looks just like him not mm. not the remake either because that doesn't count i mean the old <laughs> yeah, yeah um yeah that's it that's all i had on the alone noir bit though uh yeah i i um I'd, I'd I'd get a Max Payne remake. Hundred percent. It. Yeah. The the. I I don't. I'd be more worried about. Uh, like, are they just going to focus on just making the cutscenes and making it story based rather than, uh, like the the bit I remember the the, the best bit mm. was diving around and nailing a perfect headshot. <laughs> that that's what the game. That's why pe- people didn't play it because, oh man, it's quite a psychedelic nerve. Recky kind of oh i love this, this this game about this guy whose family was murdered yeah. immediately is oh people play it because horrific. they watch the matrix and this was the only game where you could recreate some of the moves <laughs> pretty much yeah until the matrix game came out and didn't <laughs> allow you to perform some of those moves. well no <laughs> enter the matrix wasn't the most faithful to it but um path of neo was pretty good although I... the matrix online I don't know if it, it wouldn't have had that again. It wouldn't have had that level of like bullet time no. dodginess sort of stuff. But there would have been. I'm pretty sure there was like a, a, a Neo dodging out the way of agents. Maybe that emote that would have been. In I there, like 100%. Path of Neo. Like it had some very good like quirky level design to to some of it. Like when like Path of Neo is great. You got that room with all the stairs and like you go for a door and you just come out the door at the at the top mm-hmm. and stuff like they like adds wasn't great and it had a lot of problems but i like i liked it it was fun i I disagree i think it was i think it was really good I'm, like I'm, just being able like because it was like a sizzle reel of like the movies it was like do you want to do all the like the cool stuff that neo does do you want to fight agent smith do you want to do the fight in the, the subway station but what i would want them to do now if they were doing it again i'd say okay well let me drive one of those giant mech things in the battle of zion you know just yeah, like blasting like a million good. sentinels or whatever um, let's do some Animatrix stuff. Let's, you know, like when Trinity has to go off and I like, because that was what they did actually, wasn't it? When yeah. they did Enter the Matrix, it was like Niobe and Ghost. Like when they go off to like blow up a power station or whatever, that's that's in the game. Yeah. And that was that was so well, cool it, to be like, oh, I wonder what in. they did. Well, you can you can play it. Like that that's such a cool thing. But I'm quite glad they didn't do it for the Matrix Resurrections or whatever yeah. it is, this new one. Well, you've got the um, what was the other tie-in thing? Um, it was Remedy did. World of the Matrix or something. Um, oh, do you mean? Oh, sorry, I think no, like the Unreal Quantum, demo thing. That um, 
Quantum Leap, Quantum Jump, Quantum of Solace. <laughs> um, quantum Break. I've got it on fucking Game Pass, mate. Yeah, I, I bought it on Xbox One, like, when it came out. And you, you had, like, the tie-in videos and stuff. Which don't work now. It um, is Quantum Break, yeah. I imagine. Because, like, I've been playing license. Quantum Break, and whenever it goes, oh, this is, like, a video that's based on your um, choices or whatever. Mm. It doesn't work. No. It was good. So it was it was a, it was a good little feature. But do you remember that MMO? Um, I I don't know what it's called, but you might remember it when I tell you about it. And it okay. was basically an MMO, kind of I suppose a little bit like Avatar in terms of setting and stuff. But there was a TV show running, and stuff that happened in the show happened Defiant. in real time. Yes, yes, that. Did you ever play it? I've got it, mate. Oh, yeah. you loser. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not joking. I was looking at this a couple of weeks ago because I was just like, um, I, I was just checking to see. I was just like, there is no way. Because I knew that obviously there was there was a, uh, a parallel TV show. Yeah, on sci-fi. It's like sci-fi. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that this was binned about two years ago. I, like the actual MMO yeah. side of it. But I played quite a bit of that. I'm just loading up Steam now and I'll tell you when it was when it was binned. Because I, was, I wasn't looking to play it, but it was still just like in my <clears throat> like previously installed yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like the, the dude that plays like the main guy in the Defiant show, um, like he was a character that you, you know, you kind of interacted with. And again, yeah. it was like big events that would happen in the game would be in the tv show or the other well, way around. i think it's the other way around so stuff like yeah, in yeah. real t- if you had the game on when supposedly if you if you're playing the game while the show was on um big not just shitty things but big like canonical events happening in the show in real time would have happened in in the game which is mm. i think sounds good but it's it's a very it's it's a it's a way of doing an mmo that just doesn't fit you into the same category as every other mmo yeah uh, which is which is interesting enough in itself. Um, but it, here we go. Um, it also requires defiance. You. Sorry, not defiance. Ah. Um, I last played it on the thirty first of January, twenty sixteen. Oh, Callum, I played sixty four and a half hours of defiance. Oh my god! <laughs> How much of the show did you watch, though? <laughs> Absolutely not. <nothing. laughs> um, so you need to halve oh, yeah, that. Yeah. You need to halve that time then, because you only played half the products. <laughs> Yeah, um, in the last announcement was uh, the 24th of February 2021, uh, oh. Defiance and Defiance 2050 closure announcement. So it lasted quite um, a while then? Because it was... Eight years, apparently. Cause, yeah. like, which doesn't sound that long, particularly for an MMO, but for something that was like overwhelmingly negative like, in terms of um, reviews and that. I don't it think was... so. Like, I'm pretty sure it was... I yeah, it was, it, it, was, it, was, it was proper shit on. If I remember, I could be wrong... Um, Mostly positive on Steam. It's like twelve thousand reviews. Oh no, 7%. yeah, but that—that's like just people play. I mean, like IGN, Gamespot, Polygon, etc. Mm. Um, fight. And well, it's uh, you can't like play an MMO like at launch and just that's that's. Uh, that, no. Do you expect that that's what you get? Like an, an MMO is always a growing thing. Like it's always going to get better as uh, as the years go on. I, t- I do tell a lie, Dan. It got. Um, I mean, IGN gave it 5.2. What a random fucking number. 5.2 out of 10. GameSpot, 6 out of 10. PC Gamer, 62%. So not... Yeah, not, it's not like better than average. Not horrendous, which is what I thought it was. Uh, well, the um, second review on Steam, it says 2,455.6 hours on, wow. uh, on record. I do, <laughs> I do like IGN, IGN's review. Defiance review on PlayStation 3. And then the tagline, defying no one's expectations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brutal. An- Anthony Gala- Galagayas, what a what a guy. <laughs> but visually, I think it looked pretty good for an MMO. Considering Honestly, mate, it's I don't I don't remember anything from it, quite frankly. Um, but I do remember it just feeling better than a normal MMO. Well, we've had like, that. Just it played better. We've had that update for DC Universe Online this year. And I watched the trailer for it, and it looks worse than when I played it <laughs> 10 years, 15, maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, we need to go back to that at some point. I think we should, personally. However, I haven't... I'll have to start again. 
Because when I was playing, I was playing it on PlayStation 3. I'm sure your character will cross over. Um, I couldn't care less. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll do that introductory Brainiac mission, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, um, well, I I last played this in 2018, so I, I, I don't know. Like, cause presumably, as with most MMOs, they get bought out and yeah, yeah. they go under and someone else takes over them at some point. So I may have lo- lost my character as well. So I'll, I'll definitely be picking someone that could fly this time. I think I had a speedster last time, didn't no, I? No, you had a, you had someone that could fly. Oh, did I have a but flyer? I yeah. went for like the like the Batman y type person, so Idiot. You could It's an MMO. Yeah. Like it's all traversal. That's what you need to focus on. You need someone who can get around quickly. But it would be like we'll go do this mission and you were helping me do my mission so I could level up quicker and stuff. And it'd be like where we gotta go and then you ping it. Story my fucking and life. Then, though, it? It, pretty much. Um, and then you, you're already gone, and I'm like, I'll meet you there. <laughs> like, climb, like, cause climb. you get like it's at like level five or something like that. You get um like uh like max speed, yeah. I think. So you can just fly, which is you know it's it's kind of okay. But then you can like super speed, yeah. And then that's when you can get around real quick. Um, and I don't know what the equivalent is for like the brawlers and the, the climbers. Obviously, like um, you get a grapple. It'll be like. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a big jump or but, something. But it's not something you can go, I'm a, I'm on the city floor, I can get to the top of this skyscraper, grapple <laughs> up, and then grapple across. It's, I can get halfway up, and then you got to jump and shoot again. <laughs> and jump and shoot again. Yeah. It's like, I could have just ran there. Um, I will say, though, something, Dan, it's not a spoiler, because it's just a move. In Spider-Man 2, guess what they've put in it? Think of a move, a cool Spider-Man move. A cool Spider-Man move? Um, it isn't in the other ones. Uh, gliding? Like web gliding? I mean, yeah, that is in it, but... Oh. that That's not what I was going to tell you. <laughs> oh. Well, go on. Um, go. Oh, I love that yeah. move. <laughs> that's my favourite. Can you just do it wherever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just I hold, love that. L- I like L2 and then hold X and then... See, that's that's the one thing I do. I was playing Spider-Man the other day, actually. Um, but like, I, I I think things like um, like Red Dead have like yeah. kind of like the first sort of time you play Red Dead, it's really weird to be like I've got to pull the trigger and then pull the trigger again to like cock that. Oh, that's stupid! Yeah. Before you realise that, oh no, that that it actually works. <laughs> it's it, yeah. it's way more immersive to do it like that. You've got two web shooters. It should be. L2 and R2 that should be like it should be that and it would be it would take a bit of getting used to but yeah. if you if you're looking for immersion that's how you'd go about the, it I reckon the, the good thing about I mean which won't again same as stuff like Horizon and be that. very careful here Callum because I'm going to be playing this in a no, no 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 this isn't spoilers but what I'm saying is in terms of immersion the one thing that doesn't translate over to PC when these PS5 games come over is the controller oh, implementations yeah, and there's yeah, there's yeah. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in in this game that I won't go into, but there's certain bits. Um, you basically just have to go around collecting these crystals, and you um, you break this thing, get the crystal out, but it's in a rock, and you have to it's like L two R two to break it. But the triggers lock up, and then it's like really hard to press them. And then when it breaks, then it it fully re- represses the trigger, and it's stuff like that. And I'm like, I need to play the PS five more often, like. There's so many cool things, and when you like, you'll get a, t- a notification, and instead of it coming through the TV, it comes through the, the controller, and it'll go as it buzzes, and it's just like it's nice little touches. I like it. See, does the if I was to because the PS5 controller does work on PC, um, you don't, but you don't the get control, the controls. Then yeah, yeah. The, the, then there's literally it, no point. It, wor- it works as a controller, and until it, before I bought this Razer uh, Wolverine controller for the. PC. I was just going to use the DualShock Five because it's it's a fantastic controller. It's very very good. The reason I stopped, I used it like twice. As soon as I plug it in, it defaults all my audio to the controller. So it's got a microphone built into it, so this goes off. It's got a headphone thingy into it, so these don't work because it's going. It's not going from that anymore. You can, obviously you can change it. But I'm like, I don't want to change this every time. I fucking plug it in, so I stop. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of good things to it, and I, and I imagine realistically they could get them working on PC because it's just it's all in the controller. 
It depends. So if it's like patented code, yeah, PlayStation like aren't that. going to want it on there because they'll go. Of do you, do you want to play? Do you want to play Spider Man on on PC or do you want it with it's all the, best the, experience. The, the exactly the best version of it? And yeah. realistically, if you want to play it now, you've got a PlayStation Five. So there's no reason to 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 go between. But um, same as I did uh, when when Last of Us Two comes out, I'll buy that on PC again, even though I own it on uh, PS Five already. Haven't bought Last of Us yet. Oh, it's so good. So good, Dan. No, I know. I mean, I've, I own the game, you idiot. I just mean, I haven't bought this, this new one. I bought. I got the first one on PS3, PS4, and PS5. Well, I think Ratchet and Clank... Um, a Rift that, Apart. Yeah, that, that's either out or is due to I be out I think it's soon, out I now, I believe. You're probably right, yeah. That's I mean, very I was good game. meaning to get that, because, again, that looked like it was really mm. good as well. And I kind of, in some really, obviously not really making an impact, but maybe it does in some tiny way, in the same way that a vote does, I imagine. <laughs> if I buy every PlayStation game that comes out on PC, it will encourage Sony to keep on doing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, can't, I don't think the sat there going, man, we were one copy away. <laughs> <laughs> well, every vote, Callum... <laughs> Every vote counts, Callum. That's every, what I was trying to say. Every vote, Callum counts. <laughs> yep. Um, but no, I mean, like, I, I can't imagine. I don't think they've released sales numbers for these uh, cross, cross, not crossplay. At this point, they don't. It doesn't matter. Titles. Like, if they, if they go, well, we sold twenty. It doesn't matter. Like, we still sold them on the console that we, we wanted to anyway. This is just chump change. At but this the, point. the thing is, like, it. I think I think it's a smart business move. But you're looking at a. Obviously, most Xbox games are on PC, uh, on PC and Xbox, and most of them all the, are on all the current on releases. Game are, yeah, Pass. anything that's coming out for one is on the other. Mm. Yeah, um, but you've probably bought Game Pass in order to to play that particular game. Whereas these PlayStation ones, the the releasing them like a few years after they've already been out, for close to retail price for a, a normal pc game so it's not 70 quid that it was on the ps5 for a pc game but yeah it is round about that 40 to 50 pounds for a triple a uh pc game that they're getting again so <laughs> we, but if you walked into a shop and bought it for playstation in three or four years time it's not going to be 70 quid mm. so it, it's i think it's a, i think it's a smart move in order to for sony to just make as much money off a, off a single game. Plus, you you know that it's probably going to be the best version of it as well. Um, in, in the sense of um, like the the game itself is polished. There's no mm. more updates or anything like that to to patch anything out. Although obviously, The Last of Us didn't exactly launch well, but you'll get all of the content, the DLC that comes with it. Um, like because when I got Uncharted, obviously you get um, Lost Legacy as well, yeah. which I still need to finish at some point. Good game. Good. Do you know what? I don't think I played it since I upgraded my card. You should. It's a good-looking game. But it, I, I was playing yeah. it in Ultra anyway on the 1070. I mean, there would be an extra level to it, I reckon, with the hair physics I mean, and ray tracing even and just, Even just on PS4, it, it was a good, good-looking good game, and that, obviously that's not... I just resent it. the fact that it's so fucking short. Yeah, but it was also like... I, I got it the day it came out, um, and it was standalone DLC then anyway. And it was no, still... I mean both of them. I mean four and Lost Legacy. Like it was like twelve hours, and I was done with four. And I was like, this, this, oh, this is not yeah. okay. I mean, I, I think I'm pretty sure if I remember rightly, uh, when, when we did look into it, it was something like sixteen hours. But if you take out the cutscenes, it was like fourteen and a half or something like that. Well, don't forget, I had to replay most of my cutscenes because the game is so fucking yeah. broken. <laughs> It would it wouldn't load a cutscene or it would crash out in the middle of it or people's heads were missing or whatever. But the thing is, what people don't realise is that these are games that are built for a device. So Uncharted Four. That's was... true, Callum. But here's my rebuttal: they weren't made on a PlayStation, were they? Well, they would have been tested, and but they that. weren't made. No one sat there with a PlayStation Five controller dragging out all the level designs. No, no, no. They're making them on PCs, they mate. Are. And then it's, but then they have to make changes in order to move that across. Then don't. Make your Uncharted 5 on your PC, get it looking shit hot, and then just leave it. <laughs> just go, right, we'll it's, just release that. We just won't, Fine, we're, perfect. No, because it'd be fine now, because PS5s and Xbox Series Xs are just PCs anyway. 
Well, they're not great ones, but yeah, they, in essence. No, that's exactly that's exactly what they are. There's no custom stuff to them. They're all off the shelf PC components. That's why they they were so adamant of bringing that price down. But I only think they did that because of COVID. Because it was hard to was... keep people entertained. Not just that, but it was it was harder to get stuff. True, but it was also that's why people were the PC market yeah. absolutely went through the fucking roof as well because people were just like, oh, I might as well upgrade my PC as I've got yeah. to be sat indoors for six fucking months or whatever it is. I can't remember. Did, when did we get our piece, new PCs? That was mine, not COVID, was it? It was, yeah. It was. Um, mine was in 2020. Um, it must have been it was sort of like same, mid. Same day, wasn't it? They came on the same day. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Um, because it's also yeah, the I same think, day I got a new car as well. But I think we'd ordered them on different, like I, because after mine arrived, there were some people I was working with that had ordered through the same mm. company. Um, and it was like, yeah, it'll be twelve weeks. Yeah, because they're just like we're so we're so busy, like we we just can't make them any quicker. Because I, I remember with mine. I had to amend it because I'd originally got like it was a Samsung Odyssey monitor um, that I wanted with it, and it was only afterwards I was watching a video that isn't a vase mount on it, and because I'd made like my slim desk, I, it had to be mounted on the wall. I was like fucking hell, I need to change the monitor, um, and I rang them up and just asked if I could swap, and they were like, yeah, yeah, just change it on your order because. Not it ain't ready yet. And I was like, oh man, what do you mean it's not ready? Yet? <laughs> um, and then ironically, gave that monitor to Logan anyway and bought this one. But <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it was definitely on the same day, and I'm pretty sure within like the same hour delivery time when when we actually got them. That's that's probably, but th that's the thing though. I don't. I just don't think that we ordered them. Like it's not like we ordered them on the same day. No, no, no. Arrived on the same day. No. I'm pretty it sure just you so ordered happens. yours before me. Maybe. Because I think mine was dying on its arse, which is probably why. Because yeah. you know what I'm like. I won't just buy it because it's... Like, because I want to. Um, although, Callum, um, with the recent upgrade that I have had, obviously, outside of the, the 4080s, 4090s, my computer is pretty fucking shit hot. Mm -hmm. Um and there's only one thing that I need to add to my menagerie to complete it and make myself a true PC dork. What's that, Callum? RGB. <laughs> I've got enough of that and I don't like it as it is, right? Like, there's, there's an RGB thing on the bottom of this fucking microphone that I wish I could turn off. Yeah, but you can. How? Tell me afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you need, Dan? Um, you got an M.2? You got an SSD? I, well, I need yeah. I need to, I probably need another M.2 to be fair because this one's filling up quite quickly, and a lot of games now are saying it needs to be on a it needs to be on an yeah. SSD. We had the, we had this hiccup with with Starfield, Daniel. Indeed, and I reinstalled Age of Empires four onto my M.2 the other day because me and a mate of mine play online fairly often, and mine always takes uh, not joking about five or six minutes to load in, wow. like just onto the multiplayer game. I figured it's because my internet's not great. It's quite slow. Um, I but then I don't know what it was, but something just sort of clicked in my brain. And I was like, I don't actually know where I've got that installed. I think it might be on my Western Digital Drive, which is like the five terabyte mm. one. Uninstalled it, reinstalled it on the M.2. It takes about twelve seconds <laughs> and it's loaded. And I was like, <laughs> fucking hell, these stupid games. So now I know I'm just sort of like, do I? Do I look at getting like another M.2, like an internal just, drive, maybe just and slap in there? Yeah, so I might, I might have to do that. Um, but I mean, I've still got like, even with like uh, fucking flight simulator and stuff like that, yeah. it's all installed on there. I've still got like two hundred and thirty odd. Gigs oh, is, free, is Windows isn't on your M.2, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Oh no, it might be on the internal hmm. HDD because yeah. I got like an M.2 and then I got like a, a secondary. Uh, 500 gig HDD mm. is like secondary stuff and then like the rest of my um, uh, like externals are either yeah. HDD or SDD but an M.2 is, that is the, that's the one you want they're going up again now as well <sighs> annoyingly but we have got but, we've got Black Friday coming up 
Uh, well, there was, no, there was an Amazon sale on the 10th of October, I think. Yeah, yeah, but it's, we're in November now. Uh, November next month. Now, mate, it's the 1st of November. Today. Oh, yeah, it's the 1st of November, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so later on this month will be Black Friday. Oh, is it? Yeah. Like the proper one? Yeah, the real one. Well, then, yeah, it, I'll, I'll absolutely be keeping an eye out, but that's not what I had in mind. A VR um, device. Ah, yes, yes. That's the only thing. But again, I wouldn't just go, oh, I'll just get a Quest or something. I'd be like, no, I've, I've used, like, like the high end, like when I went to that VR place, that was like it was that was an unreleased Vive, mm. and that was unbelievably good. Pro- problem with so it, it, it would have though. to be something along those lines. I, I I'm still standing by. Cause have you seen Quest Three? Uh, no, isn't it's... that the the Meta one now? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's the Oc- Oculus Quest Three, the newer mm. one. Um, but it is uh, it's also like augmented reality as well. So. You can play Minecraft on your coffee table. That kind of nonsense. Um, but in terms of best, um, just like your average person, so not going into a warehouse that's built predominantly to play the best immersive VR experience you could possibly never have in your house. Mm. PSVR 2 still the best one. but You're probably right. But yeah. you then restrict it to just that PlayStation ecosystem. Um, so as it stands, I mean, like, and how many VR games are there on PlayStation? I mean, there's so there's still quite a lot to be honest, but nowhere near as many as that's available on PC. Um, same, just same games in general, really. But the ones they have got are very good. A lot of them, I, I do think, are available on PC, like via the Quest or, or whatever. The, well, there's like um, there's like Blades and Sorcery or something like that. Yeah. That looks really good, and there's like the tons of mods for it as well. Um, and then there's um. That fuck it was it Gorn, Gorn yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah. like that looks like a lot of fun. There's like a load of like drawing and uh, picture based ones, but Half Life Alex yeah. is kind of like that's supposed to be like at the moment the Top absolute bar. pinnacle of like the the perfect kind of like VR experience. Yeah. So I I I want to get it for that. I mean, obviously I've got things like Bridge Crew that I want to play yeah, as well yeah. in, in VR, but that's that's basic compared to like something like uh, Half-Life. Um, anyway, I think that's enough, mate. So, um, unless you've got anything you want to you wanna add. Nope. Um, oh, I will add. Um, this, the latest episode of the Loki Spoiler Cast um, is available on the website and on YouTube, but it went out a little bit later than usual, as will the next one. Yes. Because we'll, we'll be doing that on the, the following Monday. So, just before I forget, that's, that's all. Um, but everything else, it's all going along the bottom of the screen, www.podcastbusinessplayer.com. Um, all the social things are there as well. And, uh, yeah, go check out everything else that we've done. And, Dan, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yes. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> right, I'm going to surprise Dan some more, so we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>